All right. So in solving this problem, what we have is we have two trigonometric terms. Well, just like when you had an equation and you had variables on both sides, you have to get the variables on the same side to solve. So I'm just going to decide to get my variables on the left side. So what I'll do is I'll just add sine of x to both sides. That now provides me with a 2 sine of x plus square root of 2 equals 0. Solving for my sine of x, I'm now going to subtract the square root of 2, and I get 2 sine of x equals negative square root of 2, then divide by 2. And I forgot, we're only going to find our solutions, our answers on the term, on the interval of 0 and 2 pi. Everything that's over four. <laughs> yes, pi over four is going to be your yeah. part, yeah. But we need to go and fig figure out which ones exactly are it, right? Yeah. Because you're right, there's all the pi over fours, but there's not all of them a pi over four are going to be our solution. One thing is we're only going to look for answers that are going to fall within this interval. So to find our answer, again, it says the sine of what angle equals negative square root of two over two? Well, sine. Remember, when we're dealing with points that are on the circle, represented our y-coordinate, right? So let's go back and think about, well, when did the square root of 2 come up? And yeah, the square root of 2 over 2 came up at four different points. So here was square root of 2 over 2, comma, square root of 2 over 2. Here's negative square root of 2 over 2, comma, square root of 2 over 2. Negative square root of 2 over 2, comma, negative square root of 2 over 2. Square root of 2 over 2, common negative square root of 2 over 2. Right? These are all your four coordinates. I'm assuming that's what you're talking about, right? Yes. Okay. Now, here we're not taking the square root or anything. We don't have a plus or minus. So all I'm concerned about is the only angles when I have my y is equal to a negative square root of 2 over 2. So I need to look at these points and say, all right, when is the y coordinate negative square root of 2 over 2? Well, that's going to occur at two angles on this interval of 0 and 2 pi. Does everybody see that? It only occurs at those two angles. So let's go ahead and you know, write in what those two angles will be. Well, this is pi 4, 2 pi, 3 pi, 4 pi. So that'd be 5 pi. So you could say x is equal to 5 pi over 4, 6 pi, 7 pi. So therefore, my solutions on the interval of 0 and 2 pi is going to be 5 pi divided by 4, and 7 pi divided by 4. I'm done. <clears throat> Make sense? <laughs>